Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here, and I am excited to get on here today because we are doing a dedicated fragrance review to a scent that had been on my radar. And many have claimed that it is the perfect dark evening time rose type of scent. And anything dark evening and rose is gonna have my attention. So today we are discussing none other than Joe Malone's Velvet Rose and Oud Cologne Intense Parfum, honey, everyone. I'm super excited about this one. But alas, before we get all the way into this dedicated review, elves, you know, first things first. <laughs> Lipstick of the day, everyone. I am totally serving Coffee Run Glam. That's what we're doing here today. It is my birthday. I am celebrating the lovely double threes. Yes, the double threes here. That's what we're doing. And yes, we went with Soft Glam for now because I will transform later on tonight. And this is none other than MAC Peach Stock Lipstick. This is the lipstick of the day. Peach Stock by MAC. This was a color that went away and then it came back, but I'm glad it's back now. So here we are, Peach Doc, fragrance of the day one. Again, we're doing Coffee Run Glam because it's the morning. So I went with a favorite scent when I like to smell clean, and this is none other than my Mont Blanc Signature Parfum. I have a full dedicated review to this scent as well. You all tend to really enjoy this type of scent. So yeah, I'm thinking you all should check this out too. I have a leap up top for you all to check out. So again, fragrance of the day is Mont Blanc Signature. So, all right, Ills, let's now get into this dedicated fragrance review. As always, when it comes to fragrance reviews, I do rate scents by four different categories. The first category is mood. How did this scent make me feel? Where am I wearing it to? What are we doing with this scent? Where are we going? That's what we do there. Second category is strength on a scale of one to 10. Is it one scentless skin scent to 10 where it's beast mode and it's nuclear and everybody and their mama's gonna smell it from miles away? Third category is longevity and that is simply how many hours long did this scent last on me? How long could I smell it? How long did it grab my attention before I needed to reapply it, if I reapplied it at all? So we talk about it in longevity. And then the last category is the one that matters most to a lot of people. It's very easy. And this one is compliment getter. And this is simply a yes or no answer. So did you get compliments on this scent? Did people ask me, oh, what are you wearing? Oh, you smell so good. Or did people just comment crickets? That is the fourth category, which is compliment getter. So those are the four categories that we use to describe fragrances with when we rate them in these dedicated fragrance reviews. So yeah, let's get into Joe Malone's Velvet Rose and Oud, everyone. Quick backstory on this scent. This is considered part of their Cologne Intense line. So Joe Malone's scents are all colognes. Let's say that colognes are the lightest form of fragrance. You have a cologne, then you have toilettes, then you have EDP, which is older parfums, then you get into parfums, then you get into extraits. But yeah, so this one is gonna be very, all of Joe Malone's scents are light. So when I saw that they had their cologne intense line, AKA the black bottle line of Joe Malone since I was intrigued by this line. You all have already seen me talk about Myrrh and Tonka in a video as well, which is also a cologne intense. So I figured let's see what else they have to offer here. Here we are with Velvet Rose and Oud. So quick backstory as well. This scent is not new. In fact, it was released in 2012. Remember I was talking about this scent, you would think it just came out, but no, it's like getting a rebirth right now. And I'm a part of that renaissance that's going on with it because I had to have this scent. I also have to add, this was a blind buy. <laughs> Yes, I know, judge away, judge away. I haven't done one of those in a minute, but ooh. Yes, this was a blind buy purchase. So yeah, the hype was real and I was really intrigued by it. So here we are. It comes in two sizes. I have this information written down. So the two sizes are the 50 mil size and it retails for $138. And then there's the 100 mil size and that retails for $196. The good thing about Joe Malone's is you can normally catch them on sale. You can catch Joe Malone on sale at Sephora, Bloomingdale's, or Nordstrom, when everybody does like friends and family sales, savings events, which we're in that season right now. So you don't have to pay full price for Joe Malone. Mm -mm. The notes are, which is very simple, and that's something that's too about Joe Malone. They never have a whole lot going on with their fragrances. It's very, very simple. Usually about three, three to four notes, really. And in this case, the notes are clove, Damascus rose, oud, and praline. So yes, this is nice with a dash of gourmand to it. I'm here for it. So, all right, let's get into the scent. 
And yes, for full presentation purposes, this is how my box came. Check it out, super small, nice size box, typical Joe Malone presentation. I did order my own bottle from um, Saks because Saks had one of their very rare now, it seems, 15% off promotions they send directly to um, customers through their email list. And I had just reached a milestone here with my channel. I had just reached 4,000 subscribers that night. And I said, you know what? I got a coupon. I just hit a milestone. I'm ordering this fragrance. And I did. So yes, I used my 15% off and that's how I got this set. So yes, when you open it, the full presentation and inside is the bottle. I got the 50 ml size. That is my Velvet Rose and Oud, everyone. Take it out. And the box goes bye bye now. <laughs> Gonna get my strips so we can definitely spray this scent again. And I did wear it out recently too, so I am fully aware and recharged with this scent. I've had this scent now for two months at this point, I will add as well, so I've had enough time to really wear it and get into it before I do my dedicated review videos. That's always my preference. So as you all have seen, like I've mentioned that I purchased this to wear during Valentine's Day, so you know it's real, I've had it for a minute. So while we um, are here, let's go ahead and spray a little bit and let this dry down for the people. Whew, that is in the air. <laughs> Back to the bottle. I love how simplistic this is. I love the black bottle design. Again, all of the Cologne Intense lines with Joe Malone are in this black bottle design. The regular um, line are all clear, which those I hear have poor performance, but I'm willing to try them out for myself before I fall into that conversation piece. I know that's a thing, but anywho. Back to Cologne Intense. I like this design, perfectly square, and the dark bottle will help protect my juice from lighting. We like that. So now let's get into the rating system now that we have our scent here. And it's drying down. <laughs> First category is mood. And this scent right here, dare I say you all, how it has been described to me is correct. This is the perfect dark rose date night scent. I have to be going out at night when I'm wearing this. I, I just, I really enjoy it. Now you can wear it in the daytime, but to me, this is, I'm going on date night, I'm going out with my man, and I love roses, it's romantic, but I still wanna have a little oomph with it, but not scare them off. To me, this is perfect for date night. Mm, this is perfect for date night. So pretty, it's that oud in here that makes it richer. It gives the rose a little more heaviness to it and that clothes, so it adds a little spice here. Oh yeah, this is this is date night here. I actually did wear it to a date night. <laughs> I've been enjoying it for that. Okay, so now next category, which is strength. This is a scent that definitely starts out stronger and then it tapers off as you wear it. So strength on this one, and it's definitely thanks to the oud and the clove in here, the strength in this scent, I totally give a seven. This is a solid seven. It would be higher if it if it stayed at its peak when you first spray, when you open it, it is loud. If it was if it stayed there, I would actually give it a, if it kept its opening intensity, I would give it an eight, but because it does like taper off a bit, I give it a seven for its strength. So very nice. So this is strong, you're gonna notice it, but it's not like powerhouse nuclear. It's right almost, it's almost there. It's almost there, which I'm very impressed again for a very floral based. Again, this is a rose scent, but that clove and that oud really elevate the rose here. This isn't tea party rose. This is we going out rose. <laughs> Now let's talk about longevity. This is the one that normally makes or break people when it comes to Joe Malone. Now to me with this scent, I get a solid four hours. It's a solid four. And this is a scent that in my opinion, it definitely hugs your clothes more than it does the skin. Cause on my skin, it disappears after four hours, but on my clothes, I can still continue to smell it. So this is a fabric hugging scent. I have to say that on my skin, I still have to say four hours clothes. Maybe I can get five, but for all intents and purposes, I know most people base it off their skin. I'm gonna go with four hours here for longevity. So compliment getter. Is this a compliment getting scent? And I have to say, yes, it is. This is for people that like rose. If you're around people that enjoy a rose, but a beefed up spicy moment, yeah, this is gonna be for you. 
is sexy. I have noticed that men enjoy this scent. This is, it has been recommended to me from one of my favorite male essays. I love him so much. He was like, honey, you need this for date night. He's like, you totally need it. Head of Elf approves of it. He enjoyed it. He was like, mm, you smell really nice. Cause we were headed out to dinner and he was like, oh, this is really nice. And I was wearing all black too. So they actually added to the effect of this scent. So again, y'all, it's true. This is your date night rose. Mm -hmm. Now, some people might say that because of the rose, it can lean a little mature to them. But you gotta be a person that knows what you're doing with a rose scent. If you love a floral moment, but you need your floral spiked for a special occasion and you wanna feel a little extra without choking everybody out, I think this is fabulous. I will also say too, this is a scent that's good for those that are new to oud scents and having things with clove and spices in it. Because yeah, this is not, like, the oud isn't overwhelming. Like I said, yes, this is an evening scent in my opinion but it's not so overpowering that it's going to choke you out or the people around you so this is a good gateway entry into wearing oud scents and since we are in spring which obviously spring is the queen of the floral season that's why i think this is perfect and this will end up being my evening daytime scent a lot during these springtime months for sure oh my goodness this y'all smells so good because as it dries down you get more of that clove to me I don't so much get the praline that's mentioned in here, but it's yummy. This is just good. This is rose. This is rose, but spicy rose. So alas, I don't know how many times I said spicy in this video, <laughs> but I feel like it's been a lot. But alas, that is my full dedicated review to Joe Malone's Velvet Rose and Oud Cologne Intense. I do recommend it. Again, this was a blind buy for me, but it was a totally successful blind buy. I've continued to pull for it. I enjoy it. Very, very nice. Again, I think this is great for somebody that loves rose, but they want their rose to have a little edgy twist to it. This is for you. So yes, Els, let me know what you think. Have you tried a Jo Malone Velvet Rose and Oud Clone Intense? Have you tried any other of her scents that you love? Let me know because I'm really enjoying Jo Malone lately. I'm enjoying exploring the house and seeing what all they have to offer because they're very fresh. It's very floral forward to me, their scents. And I'm all about that right now. It's March. I'm a March baby, obviously. So I'm here for it. So yeah, let me know as always do your thing in the comments below. And yeah, I have this scent and of course everything else linked like I always do in the description box. So until next time, I'll catch y'all next video. Bye y'all.